Hello everyone, this is Gene again from NYC, and I'm back with another video. This is a special video in that this is going to be the first video that I'm doing uh, not on my phone. I'm actually creating this video from my computer. It's a bit of a learning process. It's, it's taking a lot longer than I remember, mainly because I see all these toys and all these things I can play with music and sound and color and all this other stuff. So um, it's taking a bit longer. It reminds me of my of my video editing classes with Final Cut Pro back when I was in college, and that was a lifetime ago. But it's fun. I think once I just get you know a a um, library of clips and music and images that I use over and over again, it'll be a little bit easier. It's just that right now, uh, you know, it's all new, so everything is a bit empty and blank. But I'm doing the best I can. I hope that you enjoyed the intro to the video, and I hope you enjoy the outro to it. Um, please let me know in the comments what you think of the video, if you like this format as compared to the other, you know, off-the-cuff, rambly format. So, again, uh, I would just like to thank everybody uh, who has shown me, you know, positive vibes, love, and support uh, over the past few weeks. If you were watching the videos, you know what, what happened to me. I got caught in a bit of a uh, dangerous situation that uh, now, due to legal advice, I cannot outwardly speak about. But if you saw the videos before I took them down, you know what I'm talking about. So, again, thank you so much to everybody who um, left positive comments on the videos while they were still up and well wishes. So, on to the topic of this video, which is the Batwoman trailer, the second Batwoman trailer. I can't say it's good. I don't think it's a good trailer. I just find the character more annoying now. But I will give credit where credit is due. It's not even a minute long. It's like 40 seconds. It's very short, sweet, and to the point. Which is something I actually do appreciate about it. It's not lingering. I'm assuming that they learned their lesson from the big reveal trailer to not give too much away, to not make it too long. So I appreciate that. It doesn't seem to be any um, digs of Batman this time, though there does seem to be a dig of authority. If you haven't seen the trailer, there's nothing much to it. It takes place at night. Uh, Kate Kane, aka Ruby Rose, is dressed like a biker. For a woman who's supposed to be like Bruce Wayne, she looks and acts more like James Dean. She acts like she's the rebel without a cause. Or maybe now in this case, it would be the rebel with a cause. Either way, she's trying to be the bad girl rebel on the bike. Whatever. Seen it a hundred times, not really impressed by it anymore. But anyway, so she hands a female beggar. Of course, it's a female beggar, right? It's not a man, which if this was supposed to be the real world, right? It would be much more likely that, that it's a man on the street that begging for money than a woman. Not to say that women don't. I live in New York City. I've encountered plenty of female beggars, but nine times out of ten. I would say eight to time nine eight to nine times out of ten. If you're going to run into uh, a, a needy person on the street, a beggar on the street, or in my case, on the subway, uh, it tends to be a man. It's usually a guy much more likely that, that it's a man than a woman. And given that this is a CW show, and given the first trailer and how uh, anti-man it was, I definitely do think that there was a purpose in making the needy person that Kate Kane helps uh, a woman as opposed to a man. I do think this is a, a anti-man move. And I don't say that because there aren't women in poverty. There are. I, I just feel this way because, again, given uh, the history of the CW, especially with Supergirl, given the first trailer and how anti-man it was, I do think that this is supposed to be a sort of dig at male um, homelessness. Right? And I think it is their way of trying to say, oh, women, are, women can be homeless too. Of course they can. Of course they can. 
No one's saying that they're not. But they're definitely trying to make a statement and a point with with this whole, you know, woman helping woman type of thing. Which would be fine if giving a poor person on the street money actually did anything for them. Or if this truly had any true positive feeling or motive behind it. So, anyway, rambling over. What happens when Kate Kane gives, it looks like a dollar or something, to the beggar woman? Uh, there's a police officer, maybe he's one of the crows, standing by, and he says something to the effect of, you shouldn't do that in reference to, to giving them money. You shouldn't do that um, because it encourages them, right? So what does Kate Kane do? In her infinite wisdom, what does the rebel with a cause Kate Kane do? She decides that she's going to basically give the middle finger symbolically to what is pretty good and true advice and go back to the woman. She, didn't, she hasn't walked very far away. She goes back to the woman and hands her a very expensive watch. Which to me proves and does nothing. If this was supposed to make the character of Batwoman look heroic, it doesn't. To me, it just makes it look like she's just flaunting her wealth. That she's just showing off. Even her motivation for giving the watch, in my opinion, is in error. After all, she doesn't give the woman the watch because she feels that the woman needs it. Or the woman doesn't even ask for it. Remember, the first thing Kate Kane does is just give the woman a little bit of money. It looks like a dollar or something. It's only when the cop, the crow, I guess, the, the SWAT-looking guy, says that you should not give the homeless money, that she decides to turn around and defy what he says. She's acting, again, she's acting like a child. Like, imagine a kid who's just been told by their father, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have candy before dinner. So what does the kid do? The kid takes all their money in their pocket and they buy all the candy bars that they can afford and they eat them right in front of dad's face. That's pretty much how it comes across to me. It's the defiant petulance of a child. And if this were a teenage girl, or even a young adult, I could understand that. But Kate Kane is supposed to have been at least old enough to have been in the military, at least for a bit, and then left and, you know, had a period in life where she sort of lost her way and was, you know, knee-deep in partying and all this stuff. She's supposed to have lived a little. And if you've lived a little, you start to realize that you don't need to be a rebel all the time. You don't have to thumb your nose or stick your finger up at authority all the time. Which is exactly what she's doing here. Again, she doesn't give this woman the money, the watch, I should say, because she feels that she needs it or that it'll help her. She gives it to her because this male authority figure in the police officer tells her that she shouldn't give money to a homeless woman. And so she decides really to defy him. It's less about helping the woman and more about defying him. The woman just happens to benefit. And the reason I just say benefit is because now she has this expensive watch that she can pawn off. That's another thing. How is giving this woman this watch going to help her? Is it going to get her a job interview? Is it going to put her in contact with someone in business? Is it going to buy her a home? Is it going to buy her food? Is it going to buy her protection from the other beggars who are now going to want to jump her for this expensive watch? If anything, that woman has put this poor lady in more danger than she already was by giving her this very expensive item that she can't easily get money for. And if she does get money for it, it'll definitely be in a very illegal, underhanded manner. It's not as if she can just walk up to a jewelry store and say, hey, Please, you know, here's this watch, give me some cash. I highly doubt she's going to go do that. For all we know, Batwoman has put this lady in more danger just to prove an authority figure wrong. So, again, like with the first trailer, 
Uh, I don't like Kate Kane's motivations for what she does. Like, considering that this is supposed to be a superhero show, the motivations for being a hero are very, very, very important to me. And if her motivation is going to be to just thumb her nose at authority, I suggest she take off the Batwoman costume, the Batman costume, or whatever else, and stop trying to be a hero, at least until she grows up some, and gets a little wisdom. Because you're not helping people if the reason for what you do is just to thumb your nose at male authority figures. No man's going to tell me what to do. Well, here's the thing. That guy was right. I've encountered more than enough homeless people living in New York City. The majority of them need a lot more help than $1, $5, or even $500 could give them. A lot of them are dealing with mental illness. A lot of them are dealing with drug addiction and other vices. And that money that you give them, more often than not, ends up going to one of those things, going to liquor, going to uh, cigarettes. I remember one time a homeless guy, <coughs> excuse me, a homeless guy uh, asked me for a little bit of money. I was getting breakfast at a food cart near my job, so I give him like two dollars, right? Give him two dollars. Uh, I'm making my order. I happen to smell some smoke. I smell some cigarette smoke and the scent, I'm very sensitive to pungent scents, especially cigarettes. So I turn where the scent's coming from and this, and the same beggar that I just gave two dollars to is just puffing away on a cigarette. That's where the money that you give a homeless person nine times out of ten goes to. And for myself personally, I am not a fan of encouraging vice, especially in someone who supposedly is destitute. People in that situation need long-term assistance and care to help them get back on their feet. Right? It's like that old saying, you it's like that old saying, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. You teach a man to fish, you feed him for life. I think that's the way, or at least it's closer to that. And that again, these, these people need long-term care and assistance, not an expensive watch that could get them killed that was given to them by some rich white woman just because she feels like thumbing her nose at the authority, which happens to be male in this case. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I think I've said the same thing three times already. I didn't like it, but I give it credit for being short and sweet and to the point. And uh, yeah, that is about it. So um, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Uh, be happy, be healthy, and be safe. And I will see you all again in the next video. Tell me what you think about this one in the new presentation. Tell me if you like it, you hate it. Let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.